All right. And so, I would like to tell you on something that you can improve. Firstly, if I were to take a look at your slides here, uh, slides. Um, here. So some slides. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, all right. So over here, you talked about the countries which you have visited. However, for each country, I would have loved to see pictures. Maybe pictures of you or pictures of attractions that you would like to have go. Like for example, in Indonesia, especially like maybe in Indonesia there's um, Bali perhaps, or maybe Jakarta. Like what is in Jakarta? Like let's just assume I never went to Jakarta before. And so I want to know like what are you talking about that's so bizarre in Jakarta, in Indonesia. Like if possible try to add pictures into your slide or maybe videos, especially when you talked about the Etihad Airlines. So you told us that Etihad is so good because of comfortable seats and even the blankets. So if possible, try to find a short advertisement for Etihad Airlines. Advertisement. Uh, yeah, a short advertisement for Etihad Airlines. Or you can simply show us a picture of you sitting in the seat with a blanket on you. All right. And so last but not least, you should improve on your body language. And by body language, it means you need to move your body. I mean, not just walking around, but let's just see. If you are talking about places that you have visited, you should be like this. Like, I'm going to talk about places which I have visited. Like, for example, I visited Indonesia, and I think Indonesia is a very, a very great place to go. So I recommend you to go there as well. And with that, you are able to emphasize to the audience on why exactly they should visit Indonesia. And what is so great about Indonesia that you become so excited like, yeah, you know. And last one of these. I would really like to know this quote. Who said this quote? By who? Yeah. Um, is it I remember. Alright, but if possible, in the next time, if you want to do presentations with visual aids, if you put in a quote which is not yours entirely, not yours truly, therefore, you should at least mention the person, whether he is dead or alive, like we, you need to have his name in there to show that you referenced it from someone else. Because this is important to avoid plagiarism. Because you know what happens to people in competitions when they plagiarize, they become disqualified. And secondly, they also get. Uh, okay, should I even mention about what you're doing? Yeah. Right, so basically. But however, overall, if anything, I think you need to have more clarity in your slides. And secondly, you need to improve your body language. And thirdly, you should be more expressive. Like, I see you in front here, you're like, okay, I'm going to talk about this and this and this and this and this. <laughs> like, you are really like a one-piece person. Like, if possible, I want to see all sorts of emotions and all sorts of variety in your facial expressions, your body movement. Can I even repeat it? Like, from this to this to this to this? Okay, maybe not this stuff, but you know what I mean. Like, you need to move your body, you need to move your face, and make sure that people pay attention to you. But just imagine, you want them to pay attention to you because you are giving a speech to them. <coughs>